Uh, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. My name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they them and I'm really excited for today's video because I wanted to share with you guys the dolls that I have been up to making recently. So all these dolls that I've made basically I live in a very cold climate in the winter and the spray that I use to set their faces when I make them doesn't respond well to cold. So basically, before the winter started, I prepped a bunch of faces, um, and I'll show a picture of them here. And then over the winter, I've been just able to complete those dolls by just making their outfits and doing their hair and stuff. And it's been super fun for me, and I'm really proud of the dolls that I've made. So I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, since there's so many, I might split this video up, but there's basically three categories of dolls mainly. Um, there's like goths and like pastel goths. There's like pastel, cutesy, kind of Lolita kawaii um, inspired dolls. And then there's like kind of more celestial sort of thing. And then there's a couple clowns as well. So trigger warning for clowns, if that's a trigger for you. I'll put timestamps and whatever if you need to avoid it. So basically, I'm probably going to start with the dolls that are a combination of pastel and goth, and then go into my goths, and then go into my pastels, and then go into my celestial ones. So that's probably the format we're going for. Um, as usual, I will be talking about their star signs and their identities and like sexuality if I have a headcanon for it. And you can check out in the description more videos of me talking about my dolls and Guess that's enough rambling on, so let's get into these dolls and how I made them and who they are and etc. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with Melody and Karomi. My Melody, I guess, and Karomi that are inspired by like the Sanrio Melody and Karomi. They're girlfriends. This is what they look like. So I guess I'll start with Melody. <laughs> So this is her. Um, she is based on a Draculaura doll. She's a Cancer. That's not according to me. That's according to Google. Um, I made her little socks out of um, like a baby onesie and they have these cute little bows at the top of them. And then her skirt is like this satiny material. And she also has a petticoat underneath that's like tulle with lace and then also these bloomers that are really cute in my opinion. So her satin skirt has these like ribbons down it with bows and then these two layers of lace. Then she has a big uh, bow, or sorry, a big ribbon around her waist and a little bow. And then all these little buttons going up her shirt and her shirt's supposed to kind of be like the collared shirt that I'm wearing a little bit um, style but it also has this like little polka dot. Um, section that's like squared at the top. Um, on her face I gave her little white freckles and like a cute little yellow nose and she has white eyelashes and pink lips and pink eyes and I made her this little flower out of clay and her little ears are just felt and her hair is made out of yarn and her girlfriend Kuromi
freaking love this doll. Sorry, I'm like really excited about her. Uh, but she's based on a Spectre doll. Um, according to Google, she's a Scorpio, um, or like Coromia, so she is as well. Um, her socks are made out of, I don't know if where you guys live, when you buy garlic and that kind of thing, it comes in these little mesh bags, but that's what I use to make her socks. And then I put ribbon at the top, and then her little shorts have bows on the side and buttons going up them, and they're made out of an old black skirt that I had. And then her shirt is like an old t-shirt, and then she has just felt around um, the edges of it and on, as this little collar with like the pom-poms. And I didn't have pink pom-poms, so I had to like take white ones and put blush on them. So they do have a little bit of color transfer, which is annoying. Um, she has black lipstick and a cute little pink nose and like purplish pinkish eyes with um, hearts like reflected in them. And um, her little skull thing is made out of clay. Her ears headband thing are made out of felt with pom-poms and then she has this little tail that I just made out of wire and wrapped it with um, yarn black yarn and uh, put a little heart shaped pointy thing at it so um, that's them I freaking love them I'll put a couple couple pictures of them because they're adorable together and I'm just really excited about this pair then this is Emily Emily is kind of inspired by e-girls and like them because I think they're really pretty <laughs> and cool and I wanted to make like kind of an e-girl doll because I thought that would be really pretty. Her doll base is an Elizabeth that had like the most stubborn freaking sharpie like someone some child I'm guessing took like a sharpie and just pressed it on her face for like two minutes um, and it left this stain that was like so freaking hard to get out and I think I ended up just doing like hearts over it to kind of help it blend out uh, but her base is an Elizabeth doll she is a Scorpio she's a lesbian she's cis um, and she has a girlfriend named Salem who I'm gonna show you guys next uh, her hair is pink and black half and half um, one of her eyebrows is pink one of her eyebrows is black one of her eyes is pink one of her eyes is black um, she also has a little heart like reflected in her eyes um, and these cute little like hearts under her cheeks and then like black and pink lipstick. I made her shirt out of like a baby onesie and then she's wearing this kind of overall dress that has buttons and then like fishnet underneath and she also has like fishnet socks here. Um, I made her this little necklace with the Venus symbol out of a pair of thrifted earrings that had that symbol on them and I also gave her like a little collar. Um, She's wearing like a little metal belt and has a safety pinned heart on her skirt. Um, her socks are mismatched and they're just made out of like thrifted baby clothes, I believe. And yeah, that's Emily. I freaking love her. I think she's super, super cute and I'm very, very happy with her. Next is Salem.
am so excited about Salem. Um, they are, like I said, Emily's partner. Um, they're gender fluid, they use any pronouns, and I kind of wanted to make like a Catholic schoolgirl type doll, but I also kind of wanted to make like a vampire-y doll, and I know that kind of doesn't make sense because like crosses, crosses and vampires and the whole repellent thing, so my headcanon for her is that she's a cosplayer who likes to cosplay as a vampire. Catholic schoolgirl, and she's cute as heck, and I love them, so they make me really happy. Um, they have these like little space buns that I think are freaking precious. Um, they are a Sagittarius. Um, they have pink eyes with little uh, heart-shaped reflections in their eyes. I was like going through a phase when I was doing these dolls of just like being like heart-shaped reflections of the eyes are the best. Um, they have their septum pierced and their lower lip pierced, kind of like me. Um, and they have a lot of really cool piercings in their ears as well because one thing that I love about Claudine Customs is that you can chop off their ears and then put them lower and then it makes them look like gelflings from the Dark Crystal or like kind of little like elf people and I freaking love it. I think it's so cute. Then I also tried really hard to make them a collared shirt and I think it kind of worked. I drew little pentagrams on the parts here um, just with a pen and then gave them this like little cross shaped um, necklace because I had a really big goth phase when I was like growing up and I was really obsessed with like Catholic imagery and like crosses and stuff so I had a sh ton of crosses, a lot of crosses, <laughs> and um, so I had a bunch of them left over and decided, I was like, oh, this one's little enough to make a doll necklace out of. Um, they're wearing this, like, cute little plaid skirt that I have a matching plaid skirt of so we can be, like, twins, which I love for us. Um, and then they have this little, like, molded on glove that was on the doll originally, but I also gave them little arm warmers because when I was, like, a seventh grade goth, I was always, like, chopping my socks to make arm warmers and it was a it was a vibe, okay, you guys. Um, and then um, they're wearing these like garters that have little um, studs, and these are basically nail studs, not nail studs, but like you know nails like art stuff. I used some that came from that to make these little studs, and then also the ones on her on their on the cuff of their shirt. Um, but basically they have these little garters that are just made out of ribbon and they're holding up their socks and then they have these like little painted heels um, and then the leg warmers match the arm warmers and it's like a whole vibe and yeah so they're partners with Emily and I'll definitely show pictures of them together because they're so freaking cute and I really like them. Next I have a really exciting couple to show you guys, another couple um, that I made and it is my first boy couple, like what? Like who would have thought that little old me would venture into the manster custom world, but I did. So um, I made two boys, Felix and Sparrow. Unfortunately, I think Sparrow's face looks a little weird, but it's okay, I tried my best. I made Felix first and um, his eyes are a little offset as well, but it's okay. So without further ado, <clears throat> this is Felix. So Felix is based on a Deuce doll, um, and I imagine that he's kind of like a punk anarchist uh, non-binary boy that uses he and they pronouns, which is, he's got his little pen that says he, they, right there. Um, and I'm really excited about the fact that I was able to make him all these little pins, so I made him like a snake, a little pronoun pin, an eye, a heart, a cat, uh, a cab, 
trans um, symbol <laughs> with like Venus and Mars and the combination of them, a little skull, a little anarchy um, button, and then a mushroom and a moon. Um, I also gave them a bunch of uh, ear piercings and this was my first time or no my second time using flocking powder So I gave them like kind of this sh shaved sides of their head um, But with like long hair also so that was really fun for me an a new thing to try um, And I used the aforementioned skirt to make them this little jacket um, Again, I can match my dolls how fun um, and then they're wearing like a little fishnet top underneath and then a regular black um, tank top thing um, and then a choker that's got like a little uh, ring at the bottom of it I think it's cool uh, then I made them these pants out of some old bedding that I had um, they're not very stretchy unfortunately so I had to like kind of expand them <laughs> but it's fine um, and they've got this little like dangly belt and these repainted uh, slow-mo shoes uh, they also have a bunch of piercings in their face, including their bridge, their septum, and snake bites. Um, and they're wearing like some eyeshadow. Um, they're a Libra. They are gay and identify as non-binary and use both he and they pronouns. And I think they're a super cute, punky, anarchist dude. Um, and their boyfriend. Hello! His name is Sparrow. Bisexual, and he also has like the kind of shaved head but also this like kind of curly black hair um, lots of face piercings and I gave him some uh, drawn-on facial hair uh, he's got a moon under one eye and some stars on the side of his face on the other eye um, green eyes kind of palish pinkish lips and he's wearing blue eyeshadow um, I gave him this little lock necklace that I had to repaint because it was originally bronze, but I think it works. And then I took um, some bleach to make his shirt be like cool and spattered with bleach because I do that with my clothes sometimes. And then he's got like a kind of striped shirt underneath like e-girls do, you know, it's a good look. I appreciate them. Um, and then the thing that I'm so freaking excited about are his pants. Hello. So when I was a baby goth, all I wanted was a pair of trip pants and I never got them because I did it, but I realized recently that I was like, holy cow, like, I'm an adult, I make my own money, I could buy a pair if I wanted to, and that spent, um, that sent me into a long period of, like, looking up plaid pants online with, like, way too many <laughs> buckles and pieces of metal on them, but regardless, I decided to just, for now, make mini boy trip pants out of um, a pillowcase and actually I'm really excited about this because this fabric um, I used to make a Frankie cosplay dress so I'll be showing you guys that soon because I love it and I'm super excited but that's not the point of this video uh, basically his pants are made out of pillowcase material and then there's a bunch of ribbon and like jewelry pieces and like chains and stuff that I attach to make um, to make it look all cool and punk rock. And then I tried to make it look like he's wearing Doc Martens. Um, these are just repainted Deuce Gorgon like sports sneakers. I think it works. I don't know, do you guys think it works? I would love to know. Um, but yeah, he's got his bridge pierced, his side nose, his septum, and his lip, and also two ear studs. 
and I think he's a cool freaking dude. And I'll show some couple pictures of my sweet boys because I think they look great together. Next, this is Sabrina. <laughs> originally a Gulia doll and basically I really like plaid. I have a plaid dress that I really like and I like the idea of plaid dresses so I wanted to make a doll in a plaid dress and I thought that they would be a really good candidate for this. Um, it also like laces up in the back and has like these uh, grommets in it which my neighbor got so mad at me for hammering in even though she always is really loud but whatever it's fine um she's got these little fishnets made out fishnet like um gloves made out of the aforementioned fruit bags as well as her fishnet sock underneath pieces sabrina is a cancer and she's pansexual and she's got these really cute little like um skeleton hand hair clips which were from a bunch of press-on nails that i had from claire's that had like a little skeleton hand thing so really great way of repurposing those. Um, she's got little bows in her hair, uh, black lipstick, a little heart under one cheek. Um, she has her cheeks dimples pierced um, and her lower lip pierced and she has a lot of blush on and a lot of highlighter and then her dress has like these chains going across it which I was really excited about and then these safety pins and ribbons around the bottom and then lace and then she's got these kind of Alice in Wonderlandy inspired socks almost where they're stripey but like alternating and with the little hearts so I think she's really cute oh and she also has little um, garters I guess they're cute like leg bands they're red um, and I really really like her I think she's freaking precious and she is Ash's twin so without further ado ado Ash um, and trigger warning for clowns skip to this is Ash <laughs> also based on a Gulia doll, but instead of being a glamorous plaid dress goth girl person, they decided to join the circus and be uh, a clown. <laughs> and basically their hat and their whole outfit has this little like pattern of like bunnies and I think they're wearing capes or backpacks or like something, but 
they're really cute either way. And I think this was the first time that I made an outfit with like just one um, fabric all, all th the way through and I think it actually really worked. Um, I really, really like Ash. They use any pronouns and they're genderqueer and they also just identify under the umbrella as queer. Um, of queer. I think they're really precious. They have these little pom-poms on their toes and on their um, onesie. They have lace cuffs on like their legs and on their arms and on their neck. They have these tiny little fishnet gloves that I made out of tulle. They have like kind of a spider web um, makeup pattern that I thought was really fun. So I really like Ash. I think they're a really great doll. And then my last goth before I move on, I guess, to my pastels, even though this is kind of also like a pastel goth. You know what? They were all kind of pastel goths. It's fine. Um, this is Onyx. Um, so Onyx is based on a Bonita femur doll, and I think they're so freaking cute. I was trying to make like a Lolita dress, um, and I think I achieved it pretty well. It has like lace and pearls and bows, and it's made out of like a black skirt but also tons of ribbons, so it has like a crisscrossy um, bodice and um, a bow at the center. And basically my main thing with making a Bonita custom is that I really wanted to be able to show off her um, skeleton parts because I thought that was really cool um, so that's why the dress is kind of more simple and shows off like a lot more um, skin and has like less like kind of complex stuff than some of my other dolls dresses and then I also painted the moth legs to be kind of like black and white stripey socks and then she's wearing these cute little heels that I think are adorable Onyx is a Virgo she identifies as queer and she uses she her pronouns um, I was really excited about getting to put Benita's like little moth antenna things lower because I think it looks really cute and then I also gave her little pigtails. Um, the back of her dress is also really pretty in my opinion. It like laces up and I think that's just really cute and she has a choker um, and bows in her hair and then these like big sparkly rhinestone hearts and I just think that she's a freaking cutie. I'm really happy with Onyx. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I think that might be the end of this video. Um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you in the next one where I'm going to show the rest of my dolls which are all either fully pastel or um, kind of mythical celestial um, kind of dolls. So um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>